Seven things God hates. In Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16 through 19, there are six things which the Lord hates. Yes, seven which are an abomination to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. A heart that devises wicked plans. Feet that run rapidly to evil. A false witness who utters lies. And one who spreads strife among brothers. God is clear about the things that displease him. God hates sin in any form. But Proverbs chapter 6 verse 17 through 19 lists seven that are especially loathsome to him. First is haughty eyes in verse 17, which pictures a proud and arrogant person with his nose in the air and his eyes uplifted. The pride in his heart is reflected in his mannerisms. Pride is perhaps listed first because it is at the heart of all rebellion against God, beginning with Lucifer himself, who cried out against God, I will ascend to heaven. I will raise my throne above the stars of God, and I will sit on the mound of assembly in the recesses of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will make myself like the Most High. Found in Isaiah chapter 14, verse 13 through 14. God also hates a lying tongue. In verse 17, men often toy with truth, denying or distorting it to gain some supposed advantage. But God can't tolerate deception of any kind. He expects us to live according to his truth. Third, he hates murderous hands in verse 17. That speaks of people whose hatred and greed are so strong they will kill rather than be denied what they want. God created life and established its sanctity. That's why he ordained that murderers be put to death. Found in Genesis chapter 9 verse 6. God also hates a wicked heart and malevolent feet in verse 18. Sometimes people fall into sin inadvertently, but these people carefully plot their sinful activities, then hurry to execute their plans. And finally, God hates a false witness and a divisive spirit in verse 19. Bearing false witness is telling lies about an innocent party that can obstruct justice, destroy reputation, and even destroy a life. A divisive spirit is one who creates divisions where there should be unity. Those sins characterize unbelievers, but Christians aren't immune from them. So be on guard not to stray into attitudes and actions that God hates. If you are practicing any of those things, confess it and repent. Amen. God bless you. Until next time.